Electric charges can exert either an attractive or a repulsive force on each other. Just like every other force, this force is a vector quantity. Let us learn to derive the vector form of Coulomb's law. The law of force existing between two electric charges was established from the results of the experiments performed by Henry Cavendish in 1772 and Charles Augustin Coulomb in 1785. This law is known as Coulomb's law. It can be stated as the mutual force existing between two point charges Q1 and Q2 is proportional to the product of these charges Q1, Q2 and inversely proportional to the square of the distance R between them. Let Q1 and Q2 be the like charges. The mutual forces of repulsion exist between them. Here, vector F12 is the force on charge Q1 exerted by charge Q2 and vector F21 is the force on charge Q2 exerted by charge Q1. Note that the unit vector R cap 1 2 in the direction from Q1 to Q2 is on the line joining both the charges to represent these forces as vectors. Therefore, R cap 1 2 is equal to vector R2 minus vector R1 upon modulus of vector R2 minus vector R1 where R is the modulus of vector R2 minus vector R1 that is vector R12 upon R. Now we can write these forces in the vector forms. Force on Q2 due to Q1 vector F21 is equal to K into Q1 Q2 upon r square into r cap 1 2 force on q1 due to q2 vector f12 is equal to minus k into q1 q2 upon r square into r cap 1 2 therefore vector f21 is equal to minus vector F12. Here K is the constant of proportionality. If Q1 and Q2 are measured in Coulomb, R in meter and forces in Newton, the experimental value of K is K approximately equals 8.98754 into 10 to the power 9 Newton meters square upon Coulomb square. This approximately equals 9 into 10 to the power 9 Newton meters square upon Coulomb square. K is expressed as K is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 where epsilon 0 is permittivity of vacuum Epsilon 0 is equal to 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 Coulomb square per Newton meter square. This approximately equals 8.9 into 10 to the power minus 12 Coulomb square per Newton meter square. If two charges are unlike, considering Q2 as negative, vector F21 is equal to K into Q1 into minus Q2 upon R square into R cap 1 2 therefore vector F21 is equal to minus K into Q1 Q2 upon R square into R cap 1 2 and vector F12 is equal to minus K into Q1 into minus Q2 
upon r square into r cap 1 2 therefore vector f 1 2 is equal to k into q1 q2 upon r square into r cap 1 2 let's quickly summarize what we have learnt in this session we studied coulomb's law in vector form According to this law, the magnitude of the force on charge Q2 due to Q1 is given by K times the product of the charges divided by the square of the distance between them. This constant of proportionality K equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. The direction of the force is from 1 to 2 and it is represented by a unit vector R cap 1 2 epsilon 0 is called the permittivity in vacuum and its value is given here epsilon 0 is equal to 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb square upon newton meter square so far we have learned to calculate the force between two isolated charges how do we calculate the force between a system of charges Stay tuned to find